It is often said that the story of Glendale begins with Leslie C. Brand, often called the father of Glendale, for his contributions to the early days of the city, including real estate development, establishing early telephone, water, and power companies, and work with Henry Huntington on the Red Car Electric Railroad and access to Glendale from Los Angeles. His fly-in party made the headlines and his legacy put Glendale on the map. It's appropriate that the street is named Brand Boulevard because it isn't just named after him. I mean, he literally made that happen. He saw Brand Boulevard as being this wonderful main street in the city with the broad avenues. He was the type of person, obviously, who liked uh, stimulation, liked risk, liked to speculate, liked to be strategic. Glendale, to him, I'm sure when he saw it first laid eyes on it, was a big blank slate waiting to be written on by him. Brand was really proud of his new house, the foothills of Southern California, as perfect for a country house such as El Miradero. He died in 1925 and left 800 acres of land to the city, as well as his Moorish-inspired mansion, which became Brand Library and Art Center. Serving the community of Glendale and beyond with arts, music, books, DVDs, galleries, and performance space.